Hello everyone and welcome to General Microbiology. In this video we will be talking about a highly promising technology for cancer treatment, the chimeric antigen receptor, which is an engineered protein expressed in T cells to serve as a living drug against tumors. Briefly as background, T cells, which are labeled with a blue arrow, are important components of our immune system. They're generally slightly larger than a red blood cell, but vary in size and shape since they're comprised of many subtypes, including helper, effector, killer, and memory T cells. These T cells are produced or processed in a thymus and play a central role in cell-mediated immunity. Some specific subtypes of T cells can locate, bind to, and kill other cells in our body, which are either infected or otherwise malfunctioning. Some cancer cells are known to express specific antigens that are present at very low levels or nearly absent in normal cell types. The cancer cell should therefore be naturally identified and eliminated by our immune system. The T cell would find the cancer cell, recognize it as abnormal, and stimulate it to begin programmed cell death or suicide. However, cancer cells can evolve mechanisms that help them hide from our immune cells. These mechanisms include down-regulating or completely eliminating immune markers such as MHC1. They can also suppress required co-stimulatory signals to prevent immune cell maturation and activation of the clearance cascade. This is where the chimeric antigen receptor or engineered CAR T cells come in. The transmembrane receptor combines an extracellular antigen binding domain with an intracellular domain that activates T cells natural killing mechanisms. The antigen binding domain binds to cancer antigens, which are located on the surface of cancerous cells. The receptors then cluster together and signal to the T cell to release perforins or granzymes that effectively kill the target cancerous cell. The CARs are designer molecules, so they vary drastically in structure, but generally they have an ectodomain, which is the outside of the cell, a transmembrane domain, which is embedded into the cellular membrane, and an endodomain, the part inside the T cell. The ectodomain is typically comprised of a short signal molecule that is used to tell the cellular machinery to present the protein on its surface. The ectodomain also contains the VH and VL antigen binding regions, which are the heavy and light chain of antibodies and do the antigen binding. There's also a linker between VH and VL and a flexible spacer that connects the ectodomain to the transmembrane domain. The transmembrane domain is typically comprised of alpha helices that anchor the protein to the cell membrane and provide stability. Finally, the endodomain is the protein segment responsible for the intracellular signaling to activate the killing mechanisms of T cells. Depending on the author, there are three to six generations of CAR molecules today, and the interpretation between the latest generation varies. Generally, earlier versions of CARs focused on cytotoxicity and only possessed one signaling cascade trigger domain, or ITAM, derived from CD3 zeta chains. Newer generations of CAR T cells added co-stimulatory domains such as 4-1-BB and CD28 to the endodomain in order to promote proliferation, cytokine secretion, and persistence. Finally, some of the most recent versions of CAR T cells combine multiple co-stimulatory domains to improve effector function, aid persistence, and proliferation of T cells, and in some special features such as uh, incorporation of a suicide protein into the endodomain to trigger programmed cell death uh, should the T cells need to be urgently removed post implantation. Other features currently under investigation include 
dual antigen receptors to enhance specificity, as well as a means for limiting off-target effects. Early studies are extremely positive, with reported outcomes including remission or complete remission in otherwise refractory or terminal patients ranging between 40 and 90 percent. However, most CAR T cells remain investigational at this time, with only a handful of FDA-approved treatments in early 2019. High toxicity, off-target effects, and antigen escape are aspects that still need to be worked out by future generations of this technology in order to truly realize its maximum potential. Thank you for tuning in to this video about the chimeric antigen receptor. Subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos on topics ranging from general to molecular biology.